Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to ShortSalePowerHour.com. What's going on, buddy? What are you laughing at? Nothing. I'm in the Christmas spirit. Yeah, you are. Wow. Come on. My That's Santa good. hat. That's good. That's I busted good. it out. Brought it out from last year. I found it. Found it in my Christmas stuff. It's good stuff. Hey, I'm Fred Weaver. This is Kevin Kaufman. We're Group 4610. You're watching Short Sale Power Hour. And today is Mindset Monday, six days before Christmas. Uh, only the the you know the the hardworking folks out there that are dedicated to this blog are still watching it. Christmas is Sunday, as in a week from yesterday, as in six days from today. Whoa! Yeah, you better go get your shopping done. I better go start shopping. Yep, you got to get that beard growing out a little bit more too before Christmas. Can you work on that for us? I'm I'm actually working on it right now as we as okay, we speak. Okay, cool. I bet by next week it's like ginormous. As we speak, it's okay. working. Cool. Well, hey guys. Um, you know what, I don't know if this has anything to do with Christmas, but I, I just want to share this for Mindset Monday today. And, and the message is around what opportunities in your life are you missing or oh what things are you saying you're involved in but you don't show but up But you're for. not really because you're not present. Yeah, now this is actually kind of a, a piece just based on a, a webinar we did a couple weeks ago. I know it's kind of old, the webinar is old. And by the way, we're gonna do another one, so for those of you that didn't, weren't able to get on, or you're bummed that we didn't record it, we're gonna do another one in January. So I think we should only hear for the people that own, like Crush It. Um, Maybe we will. Short Sales Gone Wild. Own something that we, we uh, own, I almost okay. Gone Wild. Maybe we'll do something like that. So, anyway, here, here's the deal. Um, you know, it was, here's the real truth of the matter, 290, Three ninety-seven 97 people signed up for the webinar we did a couple weeks ago. Uh, the highest number of participants I saw that were on at any one given time was like 70. I think there was 80 at one point. 80, we hit 80. For our technical problem. Okay. Um, so, I mean, here, here's my thing to you. What opportunities in life are you missing out on? And you know what? It's okay. There's opportunities that you should say no to. But why are the things in life that you're saying yes to, why are you not committing to them and following through on them? Well, you know what? Yeah, absolutely. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you committing to something that you're not going to do? Take a look at that. And this is not about the webinar, but take a look at that. That alone, because how you do anything is how you do everything. Well, I know this is showing up in short sales. I know this is why the industry average is forty or fifty percent because yeah. people are saying they can yeah. help. They're showing up on the front end, and then on the back job. end, they're they're not getting the job done. Absolutely, and you're being generous with that. It's, they're not even that successful. It's not fifty percent. But what are you committing to and saying you're going to do, and then and then you're not doing it because you're just you're not paying attention. I, I mean, I can't tell you, we had quite a few people, not just one, or, um, but quite a few people said, I didn't even know you're having a webinar. And that blows me away. So you want short sale help for free. Uh, it, you, you're not watching short sale power hour regularly, um, where we're giving out free content, where we're giving out free short sale information. You're not reading your emails. You're not, you're not checking the short sale power hour page on Facebook. Like, how is it that you, you're plugged into something at such a high level, so you believe, yet you don't know what the hell's going on around you? Yeah. Hey, here's the deal. We're, it's, we're not mad at all. Yeah, certainly. I'm not really mad at all. No, I, I just think it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's an, an awareness. It's of what's going on around the rest of your life. It, it is. It's an awareness to business. you. It is, are you really checked in and tuned in to what you're committing to, and are you really doing what you say you're going to do, and are you really who you think you are? Um, and you know what? If, if there's some incongruency there, get it right. Start now. Don't wait till January 1st. Start now. Like, start being more accountable to what you say. Start being more purposeful in what you're doing. And, uh, and if you don't want to do something, th that's okay. Don't commit to it. Yeah. Just don't, just say no. It's, I say no to opportunities all freaking day. All freaking day I get, can you have a meeting? Can you do this? And you know what? I say no unless it lines up with what I need to accomplish. Yep. And it may be, or I say no unless it doesn't line up with a, a relational item or whatever the case is. If it doesn't line up with what I need to do or what I value or I just don't have the room because I have other things that are, are important and that, that I am committed to, then I'm going to have to say no. Yep. And I think you have to do that as well. I, I don't think, I know that you have to do it as well if you're going to continue to grow. Yep. So, hey, um, we know you, you showed up today thinking we were going to be um, all holiday cheer on you, talking about all the great things, and we will. We'll get there throughout the week. But you know what? Sometimes we need a wake-up call, and I hope somebody out there got a wake-up call. This is not about us um, elevating ourselves above anybody and saying we're better than. That's not what this is about. 
We have people in our life that constantly push on us and remind us, and, and not everybody does. So this episode is for those out there that needed that little extra push today to say, you know what, I do need to step my game up. You know what, I do need to be more cautious and aware of the commitments that I'm making and the opportunities that I'm saying yes to and not showing up for. And, and I do need to be more in tune with that. For those of you that are already aware of that, pass this on to somebody else, or if you have somebody else, I know you've got somebody else in your life that their actions frustrate you, sit down and talk with them. Not in a controversial, like, you know, I'm trying to sit here to condemn you kind of way, but in a, I really care about you, and, and I want to see you move forward in life, and I just wanted to share this with you today. Because you know what? This this whole nice culture that's going on out there that we can't say anything that's not nice and we shouldn't we shouldn't yet you know we should just let people live their own life the way they want that's a bunch of BS man people need accountability people need to be woken up and reminded yeah. I need it Kevin needs it we all need it and we have people in our lives to do that for us and if you want to really make an impact in people's lives you want to really influence people you want to really produce big results then go out and interfere in the life of somebody you care about. Yeah. Love that. My friend Brian Clem Ross used to say that. Interfere. Interfere in the life of others. Yep. All right, guys. Come on back on Wednesday. Um, Wednesday is actually going to be a, a big uh, ranting episode. I, I'm, I don't know what it's going to be called, but it's going to have to do with the Grinches known as short sale lenders. Come on back Wednesday. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. One, two, three. Short sale power. Short sale power. Crush it. <laughs>